All right, uh, Gabriella DeVue Stafford, welcome to Victoria. Thank you, it's good to be here. <laughs> well, spring has finally arrived. I guess you're, uh, you've been here for a few months, but uh, we've had a slow start, so you welcome the weather with uh, quite a hard workout here today. Can you talk about that? Yeah, uh, the weather is great now. I'm, <laughs> you know, living in Glasgow and Portland, I'm not a stranger to rainy springs, but it's nice that it's finally warmed up. Um, today we had a bit of speed to start, which is a bit different. We've been trying to do a bit of speed work before the workout while I'm still fresh and also like less injury risks do it that way instead of afterwards when you're fatigued and such. So did a bit of speed work faster than 800 pace, the three two twos and a couple hundreds. Um, and then we did four by a K, 1K at like 3K, 5K race pace and then 1K alternating that like just straight pace and then alternating between um kind of in and out so you do 200 at race pace and then 200 at 50 pace every 200 so you're doing a bit of change of pace in that k so you do one straight one in and out um and then four k's and that was the workout so it's pretty it was pretty tough and really built so <laughs> yeah uh, it looked like you were uh totally in control and it was um uh I it looks like you're in really good form. You ran 403 controlled with a specific plan at Sound Running in LA. Yeah. Uh, it looked looked like you were sub four already. <laughs> so you. how about today? Uh, are you feeling like you're close to 357, 356 right now? Yeah, I mean, I think 356, I'm gonna have to do a couple more weeks of good 1500 meter work before I'm there, but I'm really excited about the kind of place that I am fitness wise and just mentally just feeling really good and excited and hungry which is huge um, and happy of course so I definitely think I can be in PB shape again this year which is really exciting and yeah I think I'm already like you know in kind of that four flat sub four range um, and I did another really key kind of 1500 meter workout this past Tuesday so now we're starting to we've been on a really big base block and now we're doing a lot more 1500 meter kind of work um, and so I'm really excited after all that strength work to kind of sharpen up and see what we can do. So I'm really excited, yeah. <laughs> so you don't really have to be in uh, world-class form until uh, mid-July, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. So you don't want to peak early, but uh, are you, so what does that uh, say about your upcoming meets? Are you going to... Uh, have some more tactical races or are you gonna kind of go for it a bit and oh yeah definitely go for it because it's like you know i don't like i mean who knows i could be in 356 shape right like you never know unless you try and sometimes like when you're more experienced um like this isn't my first time being in a sub four shape like not that you fake that fitness but like that kind of form returns more quickly than it did in 2019 say where like i was probably at that fitness for the whole year but it wasn't until october that i could actually produce 356 right so um the more experienced you are the more like comfortable you are maneuvering in a diamond league type race with the likes of like faith kipiega and laura muir Safan Hassan, the less intimidated you are by that field the more likely you are to just like hit your kind of pb shape or your kind of like fitness shape i suppose instead of being overwhelmed and um yeah so in terms of that no holding back when I'm in a 15, like at Eugene in Rome uh, coming up, like I'm just gonna go, go for it, go with those leaders. And if the race is slow and tactical and that's the way it plays out, then it is what it is. But if it goes out in 355 pace, I'm gonna go to go out and see, see if I can hang on and see what's there. And then that's also a good way to know like where I'm at, right? So, but if I don't even try, then you don't have as much information, right? So if I go for it, I run 355, great. And if not, then we know what we have to work on, right? So yeah, that's kind of my approach. So I'm yeah, excited. for sure. And then Diamond League uh, meets brings the uh, best out of people quite often. So yeah, totally. You're yeah. looking forward to that, right? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to getting into some good quality races again. Yeah, it'll be fun. Talk a little bit about Victoria. Yeah. Uh, here you are. Yeah, like you mentioned, Glasgow and Portland. It's yeah. in the same time zone and probably the same type of weather patterns as mm -hmm. Portland, but. Talk about the environment. You've got this community. You're working out with the Vikes. Yeah. There's Athletics County West Tower. There's all the trails, the yep. trail network. Yeah. Talk about that for a second. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to be here. I feel really grateful for all the resources and support. Um, you know, Trent and Hillary Stellingworth have been extremely welcoming. The Vikes have been extremely welcoming. Um, it's been really fun to just be kind of welcome and welcomed into the fold of the family here. Um, and then, yeah, we have like a world-class facility at Pisces with the Athletics Canada West Hub. That's been really awesome to have access to. 
um, kind of like tweaking and filling in some gaps in terms of like strength and um, also just like, you know, having access to good healthcare again is always a bonus. So um, it's nice to be working with like, yeah, just to continue because like I mentioned before, I have like my thyroid um, issues. So uh, with like Graves disease, so it's good to kind of like make sure that that's all on board and all that stuff is, is great. So yeah. Your brother and sister are, you mm -hmm. come from a, um, an athletic family yeah. with your parents running in that. Your brother and sister are, are just behind you in age yeah. and, and they're, I, I think they're back in Toronto. Are they, yeah, they, they going to follow you out here maybe? No, oh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, like Lou, uh, Lou runs professionally uh, as well. Nicholas is a bit younger, um, but he's looking at, you know, what university he's going to go to. It'd be fun to have them both out here, but I'm not putting, I'm trying not to put any pressure on them and they're their own people and they'll make their own decisions. So, um, but yeah, they're both in Toronto right now. No push for you, Vic, then. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm trying not to put too much pressure on them, so, especially on Nikki. But yes, I did. Ha I have told him that it'd be nice to have him around. So, <laughs> yeah, sure yeah. And then Lou will make her own decision for what she wants to do. Well, this is great. I really appreciate this. Uh, yeah, thank you for taking the time. Yeah, no problem. And uh, good luck in uh, Eugene and Rome, and of course in Eugene again uh, yeah. at the uh, World Athletics Championship. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it, Chris.